What a great outdoor with the sun shines and the wind blows, but then your Wi-Fi signal disappeared into the thin air. And if you ever try to set up a network outside, you know the struggle is real. Wires getting tangled in the trees and devices mysteriously disconnected and the weather playing tricks on your signal. But guess what? There is a solution that turns this situation into a story of success, the outdoor PoE switch, a twist that changes the game and flips the script on outdoor networking headache. So today, I'm going to show you how to choose an outdoor PoE switch. Outdoor network switches play a vital role in extending connectivities beyond the confines of communication and data transfer in outdoor spaces, transforming areas such as campuses, outdoor facilities, and remote locations into connected hubs. With robust features and weatherproof design, outdoor switches ensure network reliability even in challenging conditions because it is designed to withstand temperature fluctuation, humidity, and rain or dust. IP ratings provide a standardized way to measure a device's resistance to solid and liquid, and usually presented as IP numbers, indicate the switch's ability to fend off environmental factors. When setting up an outdoor network, the number of ports needed is a critical consideration. You should count the devices that will be connected, including security cameras, wireless access points, and other network devices. Factor in potential growth and add a buffer to accommodate future additions. And this will help you arrive at minimum number of ports that require for your outdoor network setup. And having a mix of different port types it's like having a well-balanced team. Each member brings a unique skill set. Similarly, a mix of data, PoE, and SFP ports in your outdoor switch serves various purposes. PoE allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable, and they are crucial for devices that need both power and data, and eliminating the need for separate power supply. SFP ports allow for fiber optics connectivity, providing high-speed and long-distance connectivity. And you also need to concern about the network speed and performance. The required network speed depends on the types of application and devices that will be part of your outdoor network. For most scenarios, a gigabit Ethernet is suitable. But if your outdoor network demands high data throughput like multiple high-resolution video stream or data-intensive application, you can consider about 10 gigabit Ethernet. And it is important to choose a switch with adequate bandwidth and throughput to ensure smooth data flow and prevent bottlenecks and future proofing. By carefully evaluating your network's intended usage and choosing a switch that meets those requirements, now you can ensure seamless data flows and reliable connectivity for all your outdoor devices and applications. So now I'm going to introduce you to some of our outdoor PoE switches. Up here, we have an outdoor PoE switch with SFP. This is an extremely reliable networking system for outdoor application with highly flexibility on connection. It has four PoE ports and support up to 1000 megabit per second that the transfer rate. The total power budget of 75 watts and provide up to 30 watts of maximum power output per port, and accept universal SFP transceiver and supply up to 10 km fiber optical network. It is IP67 waterproof rated. The working temperature range is from minus 30 degrees up to 60 degrees. The power source is already built in, we only need a single power cord. But if your environment does not have any power supply, you can consider using this PoE 
pass-through switch. This switch can, can be powered by an upstream PSE and provide both power and data up to seven devices and support up to 1000 megabit per second data transfer rate and is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard and it can receive power from a BT standard injector or a PoE switch the total power budget is 95 watts and also can support up to 30 watts of maximum power output per port. It is IP67 waterproof rated. The working temperature range is from minus 25 degrees up to 60 degrees. And if you're looking for an outdoor PoE switches with advanced features, we also have those managed outdoor PoE switch. This one here is the A-Port L2 Plus managed outdoor PoE switch with SFP. It has eight PoE ports support up to one gigabit per second that is transfer weight, one gigabit RJ45 console port, and four gigabit SFP ports. The managed switch has powerful traffic management management, QoS feature, MAC addressing, VLAN, and ERPS ring protocol, and also adopts dual DC power input for redundancy, achieve high stability for system operation. And up here, we have the A-Port L2 Plus Managed PoE switch with 36 to 60 volt solar input, delivers zero carbon and uninterruptible power supply for continuous outdoor application, supply up to 30 watts of maximum power per port and total power budget of 120 watts, and support both DC and 36 to 60 volt solar power input. It also also has heat dissipation system to prevent overheating. So now I'm going to do a simple connection using this outdoor PoE switch. And in the middle, we have 300 meters fiber optic cable with high bandwidth, low latency and long distance connection. Let's do it from the beginning. First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router with the NVR since we are connecting to a PDZ camera at the edge for display video footage. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to a media converter. Since we cannot plug in the fiber optic cable directly to the router, that's why we need this to transform the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. So let's plug it in here and power it up. Up here we have an SFP transceiver. This is usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable and the connector that you use. This is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Today we are using this four string LC connector pre-made fiber optic cable so we don't need to worry about the connector and it has letter on each string. Let's use letter A plug it into the SFP transceiver and to the media converter. So now we can send the data along with the fiber optic cable to our outdoor PoE switch. The same thing, we are going to plug in the fiber optic cable to an SFP transceiver. This is string A. Make sure you match the letters. Plug it into the SFP port done since we're connecting to two PoE devices so let's plug two Ethernet cable this one is for the PDZ camera and the other one is already connected to our wireless access point. You can see the indicated light is on. Also our PDZ camera is getting both power and data already. Let's see the video is on. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole connection is done. And here are some more tips on how to choose the outdoor PoE switches. 
First, prioritize outdoor switches with robust remote management and monitoring capabilities. Look for options like web-based interfaces and VLAN features to efficiently oversee and control your network from a distance because security is paramount. And ensure high uptime by focusing and redundancy in your outdoor network to enhance reliability and seamless network operation. Thank you very much for watching us. If you like the information, don't miss out on more insightful content. Hit that like button and also subscribe our channel Fast Cabling and ring the notification bell. We appreciate for your support.